What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off happened last time, we are laying siege to Cleves, and they have very little artillery. So I think this could be quite an interesting battle. So let's assault. We need to secure Cleves in the north, and this army may become depending on the result of the Battle of Württemberg, which I'm not involved in. Well, I'm not well it's, it's Austria that's in at war so I don't know if well I don't know if the Prussians can transit their lands if they're not at war. What's, what's tempting is if I take Vienna to try trade it with Württemberg to secure my lines. Okay, so my, this artillery is going to trundle up to this line, this hill here, because it has a very very good uh, range, has a very very good chance of doing lots of damage. Some raw marines. Let's get the raw marines. Let's make a. Highland contingent, which will advance straight up the middle because the Scots are just brilliant soldiers. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Let's get more marines and my foot units on the right. And then we will advance our. Oh, these are grenadiers. I keep thinking they're foot units. Grand. I think I keep thinking they're light infantry. Grenadiers on the left. And one unit of light, which I'm not going to do a whole lot with. Uxbridge on the left, Dra uh, Dragoons on the right, Crawford in the centre. Let's this fight. Well, I've not moved my howitzer, but my howitzer is going to be joining my... It's going to be joining my infantry. Push up my grenadiers to secure this hilltop. Let's get my light foot to secure this edge of the hill. And let's also advance up the Earl of Uxbridge. And then let's put Bob Crawford up on this hill. And then let's also speed up time. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> For a minute I thought that was a unit that wasn't moving. Okay. For a second I thought they were pushing the left. The Black Brunswickers. Let's have a look at you. They look good. Oh, I like the Death like the, um, the Death's Head Hussars. Because they got the, um, the skull. Skull and crossbones. So maybe it's maybe make the grenadiers. Let's maybe make the grenadiers move out to here. With the light infantry supporting them on the flank and the Earl of Max Bridge ready. Ready to charge, and then we're probably gonna want to advance the right flank in like this and our Highlander contingent is probably going to want to go like so good, some is out of the way so my infantry will soon be Make a chain. Okay, let's do this and then left with my houses. If you keep advancing that, that foot artillery any further up, I'm going to send Luxbridge in to get, take it out. Yep, so they are abandoning the town largely, so let's change my deployment. So they advance the 48th. Here, cavalry advancing. Let's 
bring my dragoons around. Let's bring my heavy cavalry back. So these lancers don't they don't know where they're going or who they're aiming at. Let's change the orientation of my guns somewhat. I do want to change the direction that my the vector that my cavalry is going through and I also want to change start bringing these guys into the town and Limba should be able to provide some good fire don't want to get into that house because it could well take a lot of shots here come the lances, so let's get ready with the 48th. Good. The formation is in range of my artillery. They can open up, most probably on their guns. First volleys off into the mass Unload, unlimber. Unload. Let's get the King's German Legion ready and let's get involved. Battle lines have been met. There's enemy at close range, but sort yourselves out, lads. Is there only a fence? How is firing? Or well, hopefully the Harris's how is firing. Artillery's making. Oh wow. It's gonna be a melee combat here, lads. Present. Engage those Prussians at point blank range! No, they thought they're they're falling back. Back the general. Oh yes, tremendous job, lads. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Damn right he is, because he's a badass general. That's why. Oh yes, broken the enemy. So now let's advance up. Highlanders as a coherent unit. You guys engage, charge the armed citizenry. You charge the armed citizenry too, because once this area is cleared out, you can deploy a bit better. 
Royal Marines. Okay, you you two Royal Marines, you go clear the way by engaging this armed citizenry. Deploy the cavalry. Okay, don't okay, don't deploy the cavalry completely yet. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They're starting to come back. Friendly fire there blew up in the middle of the Black Watch. Okay, let's move up. Let's reorientate these guys. These guys engage the armed citizenry. It's really overkill, but right now I've got two. I've got more units than I can manage at the moment. These are my reserves. Got on the Earl of Axbridge. There. It's a full route. Come on, man, run into the middle of them. Right into the middle. Absolutely continue. Let's hold all artillery fire. Then run in a cry of Crawford on his lips. Go, Crawford, go, go, go. Get him. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Right now, this isn't strictly necessary, but I want it to build up some experience. Because right now, well, the more experienced your cavalry are, well, the more experienced all of your units are, the better that. And we're so close to their corner of their map. So my dragoons are. It must be through charge bonuses, I guess, that you get your bonus for this. Come here, man. Come hither. Because what I like about what I like about Napoleon more so than Empire at the minute is that it will. Your your armies have a bit of character in there because it could be because of the way you're limited in recruiting generals and because I've got right well now I've been recruiting all my armies under generals like every single army has is more of its own personality the thing I quite like decisive victory perfect Risen Empire it's so easy it's more like like you want them as a that you want them as a under a general. Johann Sigismund Hirsch. Cleves is mine. And I'm going to loot it. That was my agent in That was my agent in Berlin that was spotted. Good. So you're gonna replenish reasonably well. No. Oh that doesn't okay, I thought it meant, might mean I can push into here, but it does not. So who are you? Sergei Kamensky. So it's unfortunate that it's the Austrians attacking Westphalia. I don't know why I'm not at war with Austria, but whatever. Karl von Ostrich-Teschen. Hmm. 
Let's upgrade the roads. This army is replenishing every day, getting stronger and stronger. Let's send this cavalry scout unit ahead. keep him here because actually no I probably want to send him out so I doesn't tie up Nelson so much but good let's upgrade the roads excellent good job Bob so you're still replenishing so you can either head south we don't need to head south or, or eh, I've got three armies to the south in central Europe so you'll probably go north potentially threaten Berlin because you will secure Cleves. Hopefully, Henry Clinton will secure Oldenburg. Then Black Bob Crawford can either well, he yeah, he'll be threatening Berlin. The swine. Cool. Mm, my no. Eh. Mm. Yeah. Put a mine a garrison in Marseille, just in case Napoleon gets back up to his old tricks. And we do need to keep an eye on the Portugal. Because they will, they, if they change their mind and decide, you know what, we actually don't like the way you're conquering the world, then we need to come back and destroy them. And also bottle up their navy, but we don't have a good view on what it is. So we've got a bunch of thirds. HMS Elephant. Okie dokie. Now research and tech. How are things going? Two units to get my precious riflemen. Good. And you're still interchangeable parts. I think I'll probably get modern rifles. Then I'll go for... What do you get me? Reduces upkeep. Enables targeted fire. I'm not sure what that is. Well, it sounds like you can aim, aim at things, but... An engineer school gets you rocket troop. He's got experimental. Oh, we've got experimental howards there? We've got five in. I can't remember what howards we've got. Either way, we want the five inch based on the, based on the uh, stats. Then we've got the rocket troop, which they're just more fun than anything. Okay, let's hit end turn. And see what happens. So the French are still raiding. The Austrians are on the move. Yes, Prussia. Are you concerned? Are you worried? Do you fear the British tide storming in from the west? So what I will do is it when I take uh, Oldenburg, I will give it to the Belgians. Ooh, the Prussians have moved out to attack me. It's just a bog standard captain. How dares he? How dares he indeed? Michael Stoll hasn't fought since the start of the game, so these are all quite early regiments. The th uh, some are 33rd, 32nd, 3rd light foot, 9th, 5th regiment of foot. But we're absolutely going to fight. Got August Weit. Weit, Weit, Weit. They're all going to die. It looks like we are defending. No, we've got yeah, like a hill here, so we might want to. Hmm. Are we careful how I approach this. Oh, we're in the town. I want to get out of the town. Ooh, but this is a lovely little position for artillery. Okay, so I'm going to put two batteries up here that's ready to secure this ridge, this slight hill. And then I'm also going to put in case this group you guys together get these two howitzer units you stay where you are and I want you to go up here to secure this hill then I'm probably going to want something like this no, five's too many four, four may even be too many these guys to make up the centre to kind of provide a cover these guys to provide the right hand side and these guys to provide the left light infantry stay where you well not stay where you are but 
respond to where I need you. Generally in the centre of the town. The other artillery unit get up to here. Oh, holy moly! Redeploy, redeploy, redeploy. is all cavalry it's a lot easier for me just to go square and then instead shoot over here and see if I can try and get your okay to ignore what's going on there at the minute okay instead let's draw a battle line and you guys just run straight you need guys, these guys need to run straight through the town and just get here Okay, fallback cavalry, because they're not going to be silly enough. You guys need to run. You need to stay ever so slightly ahead of them, on top of them. Dragoons on the go. You guys running? You need to, you need to run. We can do this at the minute because it's just cavalry coming. Let's advance up into their face. Musketeers. Let's get you guys over here to cover the flank. Shut you guys up here. You blast the hell out of that musketeer unit. You blast the hell out of that musketeer unit. You form square. Troy Barrows, that horse artillery unit. over here ignore the melee form up on the flank yes you're tired but your force your friends are in danger Come on, 
knock out that army. Okay, now ignore the, ignore hunting them down, but just right. No time for it. Charge in. You run. You don't form square. This artillery limber up. Where is it? There it is. Limber up. Michael Stowell is currently not doing anything. Can you go back to that gun crew because they are no longer routing. Fall back. Fall back. Pummel the crap out of them. Good lads. So these guys may come back, but I'm going to. I want to continue harrying them with my cavalry to the to the point where I can just leave them alone. This artillery again. Barrage. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. I know he's under attack. That's the... so let's push, push around. Get these guys back out of line. Back out of square. Where is he? Where is our general? There he is. Bring him up. Smack into the back of this oh, bad charge. Advance. Advance. I know they've caught a Prussian unit, but so I can't really think about that right now. Charge into the flank of these musketeers because they are a risk. You fill this gap. Come on, Michael Stowell. Rally. Cavalry, you're the one that wanted to get out of dodge because you are in prime position to get, get shot to pieces. Oof. Very, 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 very nice battle that was. Right, let's just end it there. Heroic victory for Britain, so Prussia has yet to get, and that's, that's just so goddamn perfect. That was nice, that was a good battle. Yeah, lost a bit more than I'd want to, but we've cleared them out. They fell back, and their garrison is in a very weak state. Weaker than my attacking forces, and as you can see, they are scrambling desperately to try and do something about this. However, there in reality is very little we can do, oh, except blockade London and cause me to have no money for a turn. So, 
auto resolve. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no, 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 Russia, don't go that way. Agent, an agent, eh? Being exploited. At your service. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income later. Yes, it's building the mine. And they call it a mine. Okay. Your Majesty. Try and portray again. Ah, oh, they shut him. The monsters, they shut him. Let's just make sure I've not got any other loose because we've obviously got you not doing anything oh yeah someone said you you've got, you've got to kill that German that Prussian general aren't you okay so I've got Wellesley you do ready to cover Wellesley I don't know where these guys are going to get catapulted to when Russia wins. Let's have a look. Scout the high road. Yeah, raid the mine. Uh, so Austria's got a full army in Zagreb, which is exactly why we want this guy to be... this position to be reinforced. Because what will what happen is, at the drop of a hat, they'll say, right, we're at war with Russia, and they will just send these guys west. And that's why I'm debating whether I'd want Vienna, whereas this is quite a nice little position to be in. Oh, I meant to send, send you to Trieste, force the Admiral out so I can kill him. Then I can get Nelson back into this port and repaired. Perfect. You're still replenishing. God, this you replenish quick here. Strasbourg, that's the place to be. Look at that. That's a nice big chunk. Ah, yes, this is my weird looking general. Oh, I don't like the look of his eyes. Okay, so why don't I... Oh yeah, I forgot I can get some Black Bruns because I'll have some of my own, then I'll get some British Dutch line infantry, which isn't as good, but it will make this army a bit more interesting. So you're my next navy, aren't you? Yes, you are. George Elphinstone. Is it George Elphinstone? It is George Elphinstone. You go up there and take Erpath Pash. Yes, I will take your trade, your merchantmen. Then I will immediately dispatch them to somewhere up here. George Elphinstone himself will base in Alborg, and that should, I think, cover. Well, it doesn't quite cover the, uh, the the Baltic, but I'll have an army ready to chase people away. So Florence is a classic university. Oh, I am upgrading London. So this is part of Venice, isn't it? It is. Got the mines. And the Khan has a court of appeals, and that is you fully upgraded, I believe. Cool. Really, I think I should have given Cleves to Belgium. Carved out, and I would have carved out a nice little Benelux Empire. Um, to be honest, they've got, they've got, they're not doing a huge amount of what they've got. Well, they're getting some line infantry. Um, but yeah, I'll give them Oldenburg, and I may, might give them Cleves. Let's see how I'm doing on my objectives. 28. Not 28. That's what, yeah, I suppose I do. Huh. If I start getting too close and I don't feel like I've got very far, then I will start giving them to. I'll start. Well, I think. Oh, yeah. I'll give Cleves to the Belgians and I'll give Oldenburg to the Belgians as well. 
This is a nice little chunk. Um, and then next, ooh, be careful of these guys going after Hanover. In one turn they'll get. In one turn they will get. They will get protection. But I think. Looking at the time, oh, am I? Eh, these am I? Am I going to fight this? Demand surrender. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to peacefully occupy it. Then I'm going to through diplomacy. Kingdom of Belgium. Open. Regions. Offer regions. Hanover. Offer. Let's offer all for them. Hanover. Hanover and Cleves Mark. Not have anything I want. Give me your affluence, so give me Okay, give me seven grand. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Cleves Mark and Hanover. It is the one, isn't it? Please mark in Hanover. Oh, fine, I'll just give okay, hold on. Hanover Cleves Mark. Gimme two grand. What? Fine, just have them. <laughs> Hanover, please, Mark. You didn't even, they didn't even want them. Okay, what if I went? Re at regions, offer regions. Please, Mark. All right, why well, don't I give you some tech? I'll give you army organization, logistics. Just those. Good. So I want my guys to want my dudes to have decent decent tech, and for some reason, well, they won't take my regions, so Ah yes, I can also move you up around here. Oh supply warehouse. Big bonuses to supply. Perfect. Maybe even bigger f than here if I move you out. Ah, no, you absolutely hate that. <laughs> so you stay in for now. That's brilliant. Battle of Frankfurt. <laughs> cool. But yes, things have gone spectacularly badly wrong for the Austrians. Let's get this artillery in Venice. And I want walls to be built. So I'm going to hit end turn because I want to see what the response is. The French continue to raid. I would like the Württembergs to push the Austrians back, but I don't know. I suppose way back when I must have refused to join their war. I must have done. In order for them to be at war with for them to be at war with Austria and for me to not be. Okay, you gotta chase them. Ah! <laughs> Withdraw. <laughs> so I need to find a, sp a position for my cavalry to get into ambush to watch where they go. New spy. Development in these areas now. Infiltrate Bavaria, Medina. Industrial gold mine. Let's give put the artillery into Venice. Let's take this guy and run him into the trees.
So at least I've got a bit of vision on what's coming through the through the territory of those ahead of me. Oh, and there's their there's the their army. Good. Let's take by navy. To be honest, there's no I'm, I'm not that fussed about attacking through the Black Sea yet. So you want to read the gold mine. You get yourself into Brandenburg. Huh. I completely forgot that we have an utterly shared border right here. Well, Sir John Moore, who is about to be finished, get up to Braun Braunschweig and get ready to drive east towards Berlin. Instead, you come up here to cover to take over Sir John Moore's position. Because I want to see what the result of all this is. Because they could push the Austrians back. Because to be honest, the Austrians have got a pretty naff army. And the Russians might then just step in. So let's try Russia open. Regions I will demand Switzerland. And I'll offer to pay you eight grand. I'll demand Switzerland and I'll offer payment of ten grand. Ah, nuts. Not that it's that well defended or that valuable, but it's just nice to to tidy up my own the rear areas behind my lines. Let's upgrade you to a drill school. One more. T oh my. <gasps> that means we can get the rifles. Everyone, stay calm. There they are, boys. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. 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 Calm down. Cool down. Okay, you need to get down to well, at least three of you now. Get down to Venice. You hang around outside. Just a general. <gasps> I'll have you, Robert Ross. Oh, Edward Packenham, he sounds... I'll go for this one. Then I'm going to recruit my 95th Rifles. And I'm going to have another unit of Rifles. Yes, perfect. Two unit of Rifles. I've got Connaught Rangers. Let's recruit another elite line. Let's get a Goldstream Grenadier unit. And nope, no, not light infantry. Foot. Nope. Foot, 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 foot. Good. And then that will be in one, two turns. Robert Ross. Bob Bob Ross. <laughs> I've got Bob Ross. Um, he will be ready to advance. I might even sail him to somewhere like Courland, maybe. Because right now I've got. Well, I make it sound like a bad thing. Right now I've got loads of armies in Europe. John Bellingham? You get into Prague. Charles Hamilton, you get into Vienna. And replenish. Good. Right, yo, we're looking at the timer. That's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Great Britain in Europe. Cheers, guys. Yeah.